So if you've never sent email from a web application, that can be a daunting idea at first, uh, but it's actually really easy for anyone that's done it. Uh, so we're just going to show you how to send email from a Node.js application. The process is very similar for a PHP or Ruby on Rails app. Uh, but since I've been doing Node tutorials, we're going to stick to this. And so it's a lot easier to use an external service because for several reasons. One, you don't have to configure your server to be a mail server that doesn't go to spam, which can be a journey all on its own. Uh, and it's just so much more simple uh, and more reliable to let someone else handle that part of the process for you. Just like letting someone else handle your hardware, I think email is something that is always worth it to let someone else handle. Some main services out there for it, Mandrill, SendGrid, and uh, Mailgun. There's probably a dozen more. These seem to be three of the big players. Um, I can say that of the two, I've, I've used Mandrill and SendGrid. I do prefer SendGrid. They both will give you 12,000 emails a month for free, uh, 400 a day I think is how they cap it. Uh, so they'll give you that many a month for free, although Mandrill sometimes will go to spam. Um, and it may have to do with the size of the website, smaller websites or something, uh, but I also feel like Mandrill is a little bit slower to deliver email. SendGrid on a brand new website nobody knows about will not go to spam, and um, it's just reliable. You'll get an email in about five seconds. So we're going to be doing a SendGrid example. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go npm install. Uh, here's what I have right here, just so you can see. I have a basic, I just ran Express Generator. So I have just a basic Express app. Haven't really done anything to it. You're going to go npm install save sendgrid. Let's install sendgrid. So that's going. And then you're going to go to sendgrid.com. And you're going to sign up for an account, which won't even take your credit card information, won't do anything if you are doing the try for free option. So you're going to go ahead and sign up for an account. Now one thing SendGrid does, which might be why they don't go to spam as often, is they have a person actually approve your account application. I don't know what that person is looking for, because uh, all they really ask for is your name, address, and website. Um, but when you sign up for that, uh, it will take up to six or seven hours. I don't know, it might take till the next day if it's overnight. Uh, I did this yesterday. Um, just so you know that I'm, I'm not talking from past experience. Whoop, I deleted him. Uh, I just yesterday created a new site, added Mandrill to it. It went to spam, took about five or maybe it was more like 15. It was a while to, to receive an email, well, a lot longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, and then I added SendGrid right away as well. SendGrid did not go to spam and I got emails within five seconds. So, but it did take six or seven hours for them to provision my account. Um, it says in red bar, once you've logged in, account is provisioning, um, you know, you'll hear back soon. So as soon as that provisioned, I was good. Let's go ahead and show you how to install this and we'll be good. So you go to NPM send grid. I just type Google for those NPM send grid. And this will give you kind of the easiest way to start with that package. Here's my index route. So I guess I can go res dot send. Okay boot up my app npm start okay so there I am I just have an okay route on the the home page so let's go ahead and send my email when you log into the home page so I'm pasting that in that's gonna ask for my username and password that I created when I made my account so that's all that is um, and then you just fill out this information so let's make this, I don't want you to see my password. So I actually set them in the process environment variables, so I'm sneaky. Haha, -ha, can't send me username and password. And you know what? I also don't want you to see my personal email, so. Haha, -ha, you don't know who I am. Uh, we'll say robot, we'll say no reply at learncode.academy. There we go. And so then let's see if it's an error. Let's just do res send. Ah! And if it's not an error, then res.send. Wahoo! Okay, there you go. That's done. It's installed. My account has been provisioned because I did this yesterday. Um, so let's go ahead and run this. Let's go ahead and restart. Where am I? 
restart my express app reload this page it says woohoo let's count five one two three four and email Ha! There you go. No reply. Learn Code Academy has sent me an email. So that's what you'll use if you're wanting to give, you know, email confirmations that someone has subscribed to a service or whatever, email notifications that blah, blah, blah has changed. So hope that helps you out and have an excellent day.